smoke them if you got them. I apologize. Smokers like outcasts. I might as well be a Aleppo. Uh, they want to send us to a Aleppo, Aleppo colony. Might as well have the leprosy. In any event, um, saving um, multiple details. We talk about saving uh, single details, and it was a bumpy road. We had to go over that. Uh, but again, it did come to fruition at the end. So I'm going to close this jam detail. Um, and I'm going to uh, also um, just expand our views a little bit so that we can go back and look at the section of curtain wall where we had the uh, multiple uh, cropped regions. Now that, if I believe, jam detail came back in. Uh, excuse me, just give me a second. It was section two. No. Give me a minute to gather my, that's the call out. That's the north section north. There it is, where they had the multiple subregions. Okay, so we have these subregions, and, and this is where it wants us to start, I believe. So let's just get this into perspective. And look at our little instrument. Now, saving multiple details. Let me shift my butt over on the chair a little bit, get a little comfortable. You know, if I spent as much time on, you know, other aspects of, of my persona as I do on uh, building, uh, you know, the gray matter, I'm trying to keep that from a uh, falling victim to Alzheimer's or dementia, I would probably be better off. But I've had to put an extra effort on the gray area. You know, at first I, I always said to my kids, first I'll teach you how to use this, and then I'll teach you how to use this. You know, and I, I did. I, I never really uh, did it the other way around. And that's one of the problems we're having in the streets right now. These fucking animals are out there emulating their uh, forefathers. You know, the apple doesn't fall far off the tree. You know, I have an opinion on matters too. You know, I'm not going to go on TikTok and make a, a fool of myself. I'll make a fool of myself here. But, you know, let's take a break for a second. And, you know, I've kind of ignored what was going on. But uh, I did have an opportunity to, you know, stop and, and really take a look at what the masses are actually watching. Um, and I, I'm very uh, in touch with uh, what's going on. I don't necessarily subscribe to lines of reasoning. I make my own, I formulate my own opinions. But I also have one. And what we're seeing in the streets are products of an indoctrination that's being passed down. And you're seeing it come to fruition. Now again, I'll say it again. When push comes to shove, the only thing worse than authority is the absence of it. Yet, sure as shit, there are some folks here that would rather some, they would rather be the authority. They would rather be the authority. They would rather be the authority. You know, they, they, they cut the NYPD's budget by, what is it, a billion? Now, let's just say that billion dollars was going toward community policing and education and all that. I thought, you want, you want, to, you want to take that carrot away from them? Because you're going to say, well, they're not doing it correctly. Well, maybe they are, but the, the message isn't landing. You know, they're going into the schools, they're, they're, they're talking to the communities, and they're spending that money to try to educate the community and, and, and be a community policing force, yet, you know, the message isn't sinking in. So, what they, to appease, what they're going to do is they're going to take a million dollars away from, a billion dollars away from the, the NYPD, uh, and they're probably going to say, well, you, you know, you spend it on community policing and educational programs, and it ain't working. <laughs> so, why, why are we going to give it to you? So, what are they going to do? Now who's going to educate uh, these animals that are in the streets trying to rewrite history? Animals. And it isn't a black and white issue. It's an ignorance issue. It's an education issue and it's an indoctrination issue. And to be honest with you, it's starting at the top. It starts at the top and the legislation branch all the way down. And they spin and they spin. And that's American politics today. And, you know, I follow my history. You know, listen, Francis Ferdinand, I'm way back, you know, to the Austrian Hungary Empire and Sarajevo and, uh, you know, the Ottoman Empire. So I, I, I knew, you know, I know my history. And, uh, you know, 
wrong, you're doomed to repeat it if you don't learn the lessons from history. And uh, what does it get in terms of a pogrom? Is that what they want? Do they want more pogroms in the street? A mass hysteria? Is that what they want? And they're professing to, uh, to, to hate all the things that uh, they're demonstrating right now. Isn't that the pot corn, the kettle black? And, and it's not a black and white issue. It's a fucking ignorance issue. It's a fucking ignorance issue. You know, I hope the Soviets learned the lesson. And, and I hope the Chinese and the Japanese have learned the lesson. And, uh, I hope the British and the Indians have learned that lesson when they were uh, expanding their colonization. You know, at least here in the United States, and I don't want to um, be too much of a patriot because I don't want to, you know, I'm not a fortunate son, but I'm, I'm cognizant enough to see that uh, somebody hasn't been paying attention to history. How far they look back, you know, the Constitution goes back, you know, relatively far, but you're going to need to go real far back to understand the letter of the law. Don't base your, uh, your perception of, of, of civilized, civilized society on a document that was written that uh, people profess to uh, uphold because it runs deeper than the Constitution and it runs deeper than monuments. It runs deeper than that. And these politicians, I, 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 I cannot believe the ignorance that I've seen. In addition to that, now that I'm 51, and I have been through the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and it has fell on deaf ears, and I have been refused, I was, I was not heard. Well, I listened to the Kavanaugh, and I listened to Brett Kavanaugh, and I have to say, <laughs> whoa, is what I could say, whoa, okay? Whoa, <laughs> where did we get that one from? What disturbed, polarized, how, how can you bring in a disturbed individual into the Supreme Court of the United States? What is wrong with you? Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to go out there and, and, and start breaking the target and robbing groceries and stereos and televisions. But Jesus Christ Almighty, okay, can we stop with, with some of these? Where are they coming from? I, mean, I know they're coming from our institutions and our, our schools and our offices and our businesses and our, uh, our universities, but Jesus Christ Almighty already. You know, I know municipal court judges that, huh, that should be sitting on the Supreme Court and, and, and Kavanaugh, Jesus, Lord and Mary. I'm sorry, but we're getting into saving multiple details. So I'll just save that detail for posterity. Holy shit, Batman. As you create more details and other projects, you will inevitably want to save some of them to an office library or some sort of localized resource so you can quickly locate the good ones again. Reddit allows you to selectively save multiple views from a single project to a separate standalone file. This workflow will work for both 2D and 3D content. A quick way to get any view with 2D elements isolated to an external view file is to right-click the view in the project browser and choose Save to New File from the context menu. A quick way to do this is by selecting them and grabbing them from the con and, and right mouse clicking the context menu. Note that this option is not available for any view that does not contain 2D detail elements. So 3D views ain't going. It might take the software a few moments to compile the view content, but you will be presented with a dialog box asking you to locate the new file. Once the view is exported, it functions like any other RVT file. You can open these views, these new views, directly and edit or manipulate any of the content or elements within the file. You will also see a streamlined version of the project browser having only the nodes that relate to your content you've exported. Another way to export multiple views is to click the application menu and choose Save As Library View. This 
command allows you to save multiple views into a single RVT file that acts as a library for those views. Here are the steps. Start by opening the file with the views you want to, to save. Open the application menu by clicking the Revit tab and select Save as Library View. So it uh, is indeed using this existing file. So what it's saying is if we have, if we have detail views, it is jam detail. Um, save to new file within the context one at a time. You save this out, right? It's well, it's only two D element now. Three D view or two contains only two D detail components. Three D isn't going to allow us to save it out. See how it's grayed out? But it's saying uh, from the application menu, which is really it's it's here when there's no project when there's a project open. When there's no project open, the application menu is a big R. Um, so in any event, <clears throat> you need to know the difference. Anyway, I don't know what brought me to the Kavanaugh, but I guess as the degrees get higher, some of them just get there. So um, in any event, export, save as. Library. Library. Saves a copy of all loaded families, the selected family, group, or view to your library. So, all loaded families, the selected family, or uh, selected family, group, or view to your library. Well, so if I was to then select Jam Detail and go to File and go to Save As, Library. This would be saving it as a, as a selected view, right? Um, if I was to get down to group and do the same, but now here's the thing. What if I don't have anything selected? What if I go to a 3D view where it can't be exported out? And if I go to save as now, file, save as, library, saves all the views out. Let's see if it saves all of them out. Well, it gives us a dialog box. It allows us to export or save as the views that are available to be, available to be sent out. Um, area plan gross building um, contains only 2D detail components, but I don't see that particular view um, in here. This is the only one's selected section wall section north. Now hold that um, for a second. Um, are there area plans that I'm not seeing? Section area plans. So there are. There. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so um, yeah. Um, this is the only one that's selected, um, but I could check all. And anything that contains a 2D component uh, will come out as a separate um, standalone file. Now, it says that this workflow will work for both 2D and 3D content. It does say that, um, but let me just double check that. As you create more details in the River project, you'll inevitably want to save them, save some of them to an office library. Blah, 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 blah. Revit allows you to selectively save multiple views from a single project to a separate standalone file. This workflow will work for both 2D and 3D content. A quick way to get any view with 2D elements isolated to an external file is to right-click the view in the project browser and choose Save to New File from the Context menu. Note that this option is not available for any view that does not contain, that does not contain 2D detail elements. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it has to have a 2D detail element. Uh, well, you know, in that case, then, it didn't save, it wouldn't grab the, the 3D, uh, it didn't, it, it, it grabbed floor plane one. But see, yeah, in essence, it is in a 3D view. This workflow will work for both 2D and 3D content. Ah, I know what it means. It means just like we uh, did with the, the group where we selected both 2D and 3D content and it created two groups, one for detail and one for model. And it extracted just the portion within the crop region and the sub, or the sub, yeah, within the sub, no, the crop region. And extracted that portion of the model and what was hosting it um, in addition to the 2D detail components. That's what this is saying. So, um, okay, well, that's great. Well, we have all these. If we hit OK, it should take us to the root directory of the library, right? And it's going to take a while. The software might take a few moments, moments to do it. Now, once the process is complete, you'll have 
separate, uh, have a separate file to import those views back into your Revit projects. So now, if you look here, it's same floor plans by default, and it's in the US Imperial. Let's bring it up to here. I was going to overwrite this group 101.revit as, as an example. Let's see. Um, you have to, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Yes, I want to. No, I don't want to do it like that. I want to overwrite the one I have. Existing file, yes. I'm not going to create a new file and lose all that space now. It's saying it's just as simple to do it the other way around. So now, this process is, um, this import process is just as simple. The import process is just as simple as exporting. Here's how to import the views. Open the project where you want to put the imported views. From the insert tab on the ribbon, choose insert from file and insert views from file. So from the insert tab, insert views from file, which is the other one. The new dialog box will look similar to the save views dialog box. You will have a list of the views you can import from the column on the left and preview of those on the right. Select the box for the views you want to import click OK. Well, let's go to the directory where it's at. Go to here where we overwrote it. Wait, did it create the backup of the backup? Let's see what happens when I do it this way. Hold on. Drive things your GM detail. That's not the one that was saved. Show all views and sheets. Show sheets only. Sister, <laughs> let's close this for a second. Let's do it again. Let's do it from um, up, 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 up. Let's go from here for a second. Oh yeah, just as simple, just as simple. Uh, insert from file, insert from views from file, go up, go here. I got jam detail, I got more exercises, um, drafting views only, I, I could have sworn. Well, this is all it took out. So all views and sheets, all views and sheets. It took out the jam detail, and it took out the drafting view and exercises, but when we exported it, it um, grabbed everything. If you recall, you know what, let's do it one more time. Let's go back to file. Let's go back to uh, save as. Let's go back to library. Let's go back to view. And let's just uh, check all. Show all views and sheets. Preview. Well, let's check none. Let's preview this one. That's 2D. Now, why am I not seeing all of these? Right? All these should come out. If I check all, even the sheet, okay, okay. It's going to think. Maybe something I didn't select. Let's double check this. And it could be because maybe I saved it as that uh, backup file and then it backed, and backed up that and I screwed it all up. So let's just take a peek. Floor plans is what it's saying it's going to save it as. So let me just up this back over to here and just save it as floor plans. Let me see what the options have to say. Now that's not a. Thumbnail preview source. Well, we'll see here are all of them, right? Thumbnail previews only going to show us the 3D view, but mm, regenerate if you, okay, let's take a look. I'll just save it here and let's just see what happens. Okay, so now let's go back to insert from file, insert view, oh wait, insert view from file, let's just go through this and just go up this to here. Let's go to floor plans and this is a full thumbnail. So far, so good. Let's go to OK. Let's see if the dialog box opens up. Nope, just that. That's all I see. Let me just take a peek here. Well, it did say that it could export them, but it didn't. It didn't bring them all out. It only brought out the one with the, uh, with the 2D element on it. Right, it is what it is. I'm not going to uh, to fight about it. But um, believe it or not, the, uh, the the dialog box I see in the book shows the same thing. So I'm just going to uh, select all, check all, and just double check something. Type three three and five eighths inch stud has been renamed to three and five eighths inch stud two to avoid conflicts with the existing element. Well, let's see what views we got. Well, it, it over it created a, a version of that. Um, hold on a second. Did I try to bring it back into the same view I exported it out of? Is that what I did wrong? Am I an idiot? I'm an idiot, isn't anyway. I? I exported it out and then tried to bring it right back in. Hold on a second. Let me double check my math. 
see that as library views check all okay I was gonna think <laughs> I think that's what I did I just bring it right back in they were already there silly silly rabbit <clears throat> up 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 save as let's open documents because no files been saved I can't even override it let's see try it again let's create a different name file save as library view check all okay Let's call this one floor plans two. Bring it up a level. Let's save. Okay, now, silly. Let's not bring it back into this project. Let's do file. Let's do a new project. Let's do. Let's bring it into that project. Architectural template. <clears throat> let's do it this way. Uh, so now importing is the same way, right? We go to uh, insert from file and up to floor plans to let's see if this will give us what the result that we need no same story all we got I need to copy unable to copy elements from file it's because they're, they're open expand take a look everyone all right so um i'm gonna leave it at that note um it, it was a waste of uh, tape but um that is where it stopped us that's where it stopped us. It wouldn't let us insert it from the file. So, well, I'll go to the bottom line. Like I did with previous exercises, I'll go back, I'll just like the half tone, and I'll, uh, I'll find a solution for why that didn't work. So the bottom line, create details. Details are a combination of 2D elements layered on top of 3D model elements or sometimes just stacked on top of each other. Creating good, easy to read details typically requires some embellishment of the 3D model. Master it. What are the three primary categories of detail elements and how are they used? Add detail components to families. You can make creating family, uh, you can make creating details in Revit easier by adding some of the detail elements directly to the family. In this way, when you cut sections, make call-outs or enlarge plan conditions, your smart details can begin to construct themselves. Master it because you don't always want elements to appear in every scale of a view. How can you both add detailed elements to your families and still limit the amount of information that is shown in any given view? Learn efficient detailing. As you master detailing in Revit, you begin to learn tips and tricks to make your process of creating details more efficient. Master it. To help you assess how much effort you should be putting into your details, what are the three questions you should be asking yourself before starting any detail? Reuse details from other files. In many project workflows, you will need to incorporate details from other projects. Reusing these details can aid in the speed and efficiency of project documentation. Master it. There are several ways to reuse details from other projects. Name one and list the steps to perform the, necessary, the tasks necessary to quickly move a detail from one project to another. Well, we didn't accomplish, we didn't master that one, but um, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so let's have this one here and um, continue on. And... Um, I'm not going to sing the blues about it.